What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, today I'm here to bring you guys my breakdown of the Gears 5 campaign story trailer from Gamescom 2019 during the Game Awards presentation, and uh, yeah, this trailer seems to do a really good job at kind of showing us a lot, but still not revealing a whole lot about the story, if that makes sense. We get to see kind of like what the vibes of it is, the environment, some of the monsters, locusts, swarm, some of the, some returning characters, things like that. But uh, let's get stuck into the breakdown here. If you guys are excited for the Gears 5 campaign, be sure to drop a like and uh, let's get stuck into the breakdown here. So we're going to use a uh, good old YouTube here to kind of uh, pause and play as we need to. All right. So right here, we start off with Kate. She's being bound to uh obviously like some kind of table it's like it seems like she's being experimented on uh tested or something like that now what my guess is uh the swarm have ties with uh new hope facility which is where uh you know niall sampson is from where the sires are from when there's all that kind of mystery from the original gears of war trilogy and people have been kind of linking together that that's kind of Maybe where the origins of the swarm come from and maybe Kate has business there So she goes there to kind of get some answers now in some some of the previous trailers <clears throat> Sorry in some of the previous trailers. We've seen her uh, get abducted by a snatcher If that was an, it, it could that could have been intentional on her part in the trailer It actually didn't look like it was intentional because I was thinking maybe it could have been like uh, You know the way the hive busters intentionally get abducted But maybe she just gets abducted and brought to new hope facility and now she's been placed in this situation where she's just kind of following along with things and kind of, uh, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. So she's on this, uh, she's on this table here, and kind of the next shot uh, kind of gives a bit more of what's going on. So here, the 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 falling down the whole thing. I'm not sure if that's that's well, that's probably part of a vision because she lands on her feet, so that's not real. So this seems to kind of like crisscross. Um, like visions with like parts of stuff that's actually going on in the story if that makes sense so kate is having like a bunch of dreams and visions and she's kind of communicating that to marcus uh which you'll see coming up here soon so we get a look at this big like uh this looks like the berserker that we've seen swarm berserker i'm guessing it's called um he's got the big spikes on his back and he's on the cover of uh gears 5. i don't know if it is a berserker he seems like intelligent in some kind of fashion, which is quite strange to see, and it's it's quite strange that a berserker is kind of being uh, presented to us as the big bad. So maybe he's not like a normal one. It's obviously he's not normal, but there's obviously something specific about him that we're kind of uh, getting to learn about here. So let's let's uh, let's continue here. And then what is that? I have no idea what that is. This is obviously part of Kate's vision. That looks like a heart of some kind. And then there's kind of like you can see the rib cages up at the top, kind of reaching around. Is that like? inside the heart of a giant worm is that maybe is this inside the giant worm maybe it's like an inside perspective of a vision of when it was swallowing up cities on sarah maybe that's uh possible and then kate's bathing in that blood is that part of a vision or is that actually happening that's hard to know uh okay here's a look this this is the berserker uh looking looking fella here he he's definitely not a normal one um and bers berserkers are normally female, uh, as far as I know. So maybe this one's like a, like a male berserker, or maybe it's like a, kind of an experimented on berserker. But it seems it seems intelligent is all is all I will. Uh, she gets grabbed there. Maybe that hmm, I don't know. She's still being experimented on here, and it stops. So maybe was she having some kind of kind of, uh, like telepathic communication with this berserker here? Maybe. And this seems. I'm, I'm guessing that this is in New Hope or somewhere around New Hope or hidden near New Hope, something like that. Because you can see there's ice kind of on it there. And uh, around New Hope facility has all been hit by like snowstorms and stuff, uh, which we've seen in previous trailers. But he's kind of in this kind of um, like bath tank thing going on. So I don't know. It seems like it's definitely, it's been experimented on. It seems like it's preserving itself. Definitely, it's definitely intelligent. That's 100%. And then we see Kate's necklace there, which was kind of the cliffhanger at the end of uh, uh, Gears of War 4. And I'm kind of curious to know if um, if Kate, like how soon did Marcus see that? Did he see that the instant after? Or did he, or did she tell them right away? Or did it take them a while for him, her to tell her? Like it seems like in the first Gears 5 trailer we saw, 
uh, she only showed it to them then. It didn't. She didn't think to show it to them earlier. That's kind, that ha that part there has me kind of curious, like why she didn't show this to them sooner. Uh, we have a King Raven there, and then we have uh, we have your boy Baird and who else is in there? I think it was Marcus, was it? Yeah, Baird and Marcus, and Marcus pulls in Kate. Okay, so right there, Marcus kind of uh, is asking Kate about, you know, she's obviously going to try and find answers about what her connection is to the Locust and the Swarm. And Marcus seems to kind of be, um, how would I put it, kind of like her mentor during, uh, during this. Because Marcus has the most experience with the Locust. He is the most experienced with the Locust. He has the biggest connection to the Locust next to Kate. Uh, obviously, he's, uh, you know his uh, father was kidnapped by Mira, or that's what we know anyway. We, we seem to think that uh, Adam Phoenix was kidnapped by Queen Mira to do, um, to help out the Locust Horde from the, from the Lambent uh, infection, the Lambent sickness, what you, whatever you want to call it. Um, so do we, maybe Adam Phoenix wasn't actually kidnapped, maybe they were actually working together or something like that. Who, who knows? That's, there's kind of, there's kind of a lot of questions around that, but what I'm trying to say is that Marcus has this kind of connection and he was also abducted by the swarm so maybe he has this kind of uh like physical connection to the swarm as well maybe he can kind of tell uh what's going on and can kind of feel what kate is going through at the same time if that makes any kind of sense but then we have like the skeleton of some kind of monster here i do not know what this is this looks kind of like maybe the the giant barge monsters remember the big floating guys it looks like, like it could potentially be one of those or maybe the giant worm who knows we will see. I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every yeah. Detail. I need you to think. Okay. So Marcus is asking Kate for more answers. We get to see a big lineup of a bunch of uh, people we know here. So we have Baird. A lot of people say he looks like Adam Phoenix, of course. In the very first Gears of War 4 trailer, uh, it was kind of a big, uh, a big bait because we all were like, wait, Adam is... Adam has passed away. He died at the end of Gears of War 3. But it's actually Bear. Bear to shaved his head, it seems. Um, and he's wearing the professor coat as well. So he's kind of taken over the scientific duties of uh, of what's going on around uh, all of the cog. We have Marcus Phoenix on the left. And it looks like we have the, the new Onyx Guard in the background. I don't know if these guys are called Onyx Guards. Or maybe he's an Onyx recruit or something. But it seems to be the new generation of Onyx Guards in the cog army. Then we have JD with his bald, scarred up look and his like infected looking arm. Then we have uh, Faz Chutani who has his DB leg right here. Then we have Jack in the background. We have Dell. And then this looks like to be Kate on the right here. Camera 16. Uh, External camera 15. JD looks a bit worried there. That's a really cool shot of JD, actually. Look at that. And you can see the Onyx Guard in the background there as well. But they seem to be getting rushed by something. Okay. Ooh. So here's a look at a new monster. Uh, it kind of looks like the boss sort of at the end of Gears of War 4, but this is definitely a new monster. And this seems to be part- Oh, here's a big one. Hold on. I was kind of mid, uh, mid-sentence there, but as you can see, Garen Paddock is back and still alive, which is absolutely crazy. Like, Baird was completely shocked. If you guys, uh, if you guys bought Gears of War Judgment, there was a deleted, um... There was a deleted campaign chapter in Gears of War Judgment from Gears of War 3 called Aftermath. And this is where you meet up with Paddock and he kind of leads you through some places that you were in a Gears of War Judgment. So you can kind of make your way up on top of the bridge so you can pour the tickers onto the onto the barge. Or not onto the barge, onto the onto the giant uh, Lambent Leviathan. And uh, basically Baird at the time was super shocked that Paddock was still alive. And now even 25 years after Gears of War 3, he is still alive. So he's got to be like 70 something at least. Maybe kind of human life expectancy on Sarah is higher than kind of, you know, Earth humans. Maybe that's a way that they could explain it. Because him still being on the go at 70 something is pretty crazy. It's it's so cool to see that he's there though. And it's cool to see him fighting alongside the cogs. We have Foz, Marcus, uh, we have uh, Paddock, and then JD. And then this looks like kind of generic cog soldiers over here. And they're shooting a turret as well. Uh, getting rushed by this monster. And then this looks like to be... Uh, the return of the Krill, kind of like a, a swarm doppelganger of Krill, or is this the... 
Is this the the flock? I think these are called flock, as far as I'm as far as I know. But it kind of I'm I'm finding it hard to tell if that is actually them or not. Yeah, I feel like this is the flock. So these guys kind of uh, they group up and they, and they turn into a whirlwind and they suck you in as they get closer to you and it kind of is a difficult uh, difficult enemy to take on. So be wary of that. And then you have uh, what is it? What did what did uh, what did Baird name this thing? The giant mech. He called it. Did he call one Jack 2 or something like that? <laughs> I think that's what he called it. Or Jack Jr. or something like that. It was something like that. Uh, but Coltrane is piloting this and he's joining on a, uh, jumping on a Swarmac. Now's the fun part! <laughs> Now's the fun part! And then one big thing there is that that goes by really quick. As you can see, the Hammer of Dawn is back online. Now, that'll probably be like a big part of a campaign act to try and activate the hammer of dawn again so you can obviously take out the the swarm threat here that looks like to be two different swarm acts there you've got like what looks to be a big scion back here a bunch of drones on the ground that are getting pummeled by this thing i wonder if that'll be like for the final chapter activating the hammer of dawn again to get rid of the swarm that are there or if that'll be kind of like halfway through the campaign uh, but that's definitely the hammer of dawn so it's back <laughs> i wonder if it'll be in multiplayer and then here we have a look at the, um, oh, what is this called? Is this called, it's called like the ski or the sled or something. Sorry, uh, to the coalition, I forget the name of what the vehicle is. But it's like, it's basically like a, like a, like a power sled. Basically you're using the, the wind from the, from the wind flares to kind of, uh, surf through all these environments. So you can use it to, uh, maneuver through, uh, what looks to be like a new environment in these red deserts. And uh, red deserts. God, I'm coughing. Sorry. And then there, you can traverse through um, like like snow environments as well, like near the New Hope facility, and you can ski across uh, across ice lakes as well, which is really really cool. So you kind of use the the wind to project yourself through it. There, it looks like uh, who? So Dell is piloting. Um, Kate's on the back. Who is that on the side there? I don't know who that is. Is that? Maybe Coltrane? It could be Coltrane. I'm not exactly sure who that is, but that's definitely Del, Kate, and then I'm not sure who's on the side there. Oh, it's Foz, I think. He's wearing... Yeah, it's Foz, because you can see his DB leg, and it looks like he has some different armor going on. Okay, that's cool. And then you've got Kate in her kind of desert armor there, and I think it transitions into the snow yet. Yeah, so that's her snow armor there as well, and you can see she's on the ice lake. Look at that. And then there's kind of a, what the Coalition said that they were going to do with like Gears of War 4, Gears 5, and into future Gears games is that they're going to kind of change up the gameplay. So it looks like JD is like pinned down here, so you're going to have to kind of like shoot some, uh, these guys are called poppers. They're kind of like uh, suicide grunts from Halo, basically they have two grenades strapped to themselves and they run at you and blow themselves up. Um, they could be kind of compared to like, uh, you know, the tickers from Gears of War 2 and you have Jack actually trying to shock the guy here. So JD's basically pinned down. You've got to shoot people with uh, I'm guessing he's got his talent pistol. Yes he does. And then he gets pounced on by a Juvie and then he gets saved by Dell right here. And then oh this poor <laughs> this poor cog gear gets absolutely torn apart by, by some flock uh, which is unfortunate. He gets his arm ripped off there. Look at that. Alright so here here's the big one. This is Clayton Carmine. Now, some people have been like, are we sure this is Clayton? If you look really closely, I'll try and play it a couple of times, but if you look at the bottom here, you can see just the end of his Grub Killer armor. So this is definitely Clayton. It's not a bait. This is 100% Clayton Carmine, and he's back and more angry than ever, I'm sure. Uh, rest in peace to Gary Carmine. But uh, let's see. Let's try and rewind this a little bit here. I want to see. Look, you can kind of see, you can see some of his tattoos there. I'm trying to catch as much detail as I can. Obviously, when you pause videos on YouTube, they get a bit blurry. Um, look at that. That's, de that's absolutely Clayton Carmine. So that's so cool to see him back. I'm so curious to see how it plays out. Is he at risk of dying again? Since he, uh, he kind of cheated death in Gears of War 3, people voted to keep him alive. So he's the only Carmine that's, that's survived so far in the Gears of War campaign. So will he continue to live on in Gears 5? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. So uh, let's fly through here. So here's another look at that monster. Uh, it is opening its mouth pretty wide there. Oh my god. Uh, so it looks like maybe you could shoot some boom shots inside to hurt it. So this looks like kind of like a version of, uh, what was it? Do you guys remember the giant condor level where you're on motorcycles um, in Gears of War 4? This looks kind of like a reverse version of that. 
uh, also combined with, there was a level in Gears of War 3 where you were driving forward on a truck. It was kind of like an on-rails mission. It kind of looks like a reverse version of that as well, kind of like a combination of the two. And maybe some similar kind of mechanics to Leviathan bosses. Maybe you shoot the kind of, is it called the uvula in the back of its throat kind of thing? You have to damage that to get it to kind of like flinch to stop chasing you. Perhaps that's just an observation I'm making just from the couple of seconds. But we have Kate with the boom shot. She's got the Lancer GL right there. Uh, JD also has a, uh, a Lancer GL. This is kind of interesting, though. It looks like that this is JD with his, uh, with his bald head. So this looks later in the campaign. So I thought maybe Kate will get kind of uh, torn apart from the group for a long time. So it looks like they reunite at some point in the campaign, which is cool to see. Uh, when the blood is on your hands. Ooh, wow. That looks that looks so much like a scene from Gears of War 2. So we have Faz, Marcus, and Del here. Looks like they're all running away from a Hammer of Dawn beam. So that could be part of the cutscene where we saw the Swarm Axe. That could be the first time the Hammer of Dawn's drop in a long time. And then right here, this is an iconic shot from one of the E3 uh, Gears 5 campaign trailers. Is this the Berserker looking looking guy that we've seen, or the Swarm Zerker, or whatever you want to call it, is that is that who that is? Or is this something else? Is this, like, a lot of people have speculated that this could be Rom coming back from the dead, or it could be Scourge, maybe he never died after all. Maybe they somehow, some way, got Swarmified or something like that. They maybe somehow got crystallized by Adam Phoenix's device or something, and their bodies have been kind of, like, uh, reincarnated or so something along those lines. Maybe that that's how that could work out. Or maybe it is just like a close-up of uh, that. We're going to call him the Swarm Zerker. So yeah, I'll be curious to see what you guys think. I'm kind of thinking it probably is because the color of this kind of... Uh, the way this shot looks, it looks like kind of like green liquid. And that's kind of like what the other guy looked like in the little tank that he was in. So uh, we will see. Who will you die for? Let me get a look at Kate here. And then so this shot looks like... I'm guessing this is Jacinto because... This looks exactly like a shot from Gears of War 2. You guys might remember it was one of the most famous kind of Gears of War E3 demos where uh, Cliff Blazinski was walking forward with Marcus and then you got to see uh, for the very first time what it looked like when um, uh, when the worm was sinking city. So I'm guessing that that's kind of what that is. That's the area that that is. Was that, was that Jacinto? I think it could have been. I'm not sure what city that was. You guys might remember, it's kind of early in the campaign. You walk forward and then you get to see the, the city sinking for the first time. Uh, let me know in the comments down below anyway. But you, if you guys might remember that shot. Uh, anyways, moving on. Bound by blood. And that's it. That's everything there is in that trailer. So the big kind of, the big to-dos about it are, who is this? Is this like an intelligent berserker? Uh, let's see who else or what else. Then we have uh, the return of Garen Paddock, most famous from Gears of War Judgment. And then we have, where is he at? He's here somewhere. I know you're here somewhere, boy. -o. There he is, your boy Clayton Carmine. So the Swarm Zerker, Garen Paddock returning, Clayton Carmine, and then obviously, you know, the connection between Kate, the Swarm, and the Locust. But let me know what you guys think. Is there anything else that you spotted in the trailer that I perhaps missed? Do you have any other theories? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys enjoyed hey the guys, breakdown, be sure to drop a like, subscribe video, to my channel sure for all future Gears 5 related content. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at the Razor Edge. Be sure to join my Discord via the link in the description down below. By the way, if you guys are subscribed, make sure to turn notifications on to be notified as soon as my videos go live. And I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.